Ahead of the MLS All-Star Game here at Soldier Field against Real Madrid, we scored an exclusive interview with one of the Chicago Fire's very own. underneath Soldier Field with MLS All-Star, Dax McCarty. Dax, you're also known as the Ginger Ninja. How did that nickname come about? I think I'm just really flexible. No, that's uh, absolutely not true. I'm actually not flexible at all. I just think it was uh, back in my Dallas days, the Spanish language uh, commentator started calling me that, and I think it just stuck ever since, so I'll just run with it. All right, so you say you're not flexible, but no. another skill that ninjas have is the ability to jump, and you've got some mad hops. Do you have a favorite jump that you've done or a most memorable jumping moment? Yeah, I do actually. I mean, I've scored a lot of headers in my MLS career. A lot. I've scored more with my head than with my feet, which is like something that I guess doesn't make much sense. But my favorite one was uh, the game-winning goal I scored against Real Salt Lake uh, at Red Bull Arena for the Red Bulls back in, I believe it was 2013. It was the game-winning goal in, an, um, in a great game, 4-3, and I, it was a diving header. So I had to jump instead of high, I had to jump far. So that was a fun one. Recently, you spent some time at Wrigley Field with a couple of your guys singing Take Me Out to the Ball Game. You named yourself the Backstreet Boys. Now, did you know that the Backstreet Boys are going to be at Wrigley this coming month? I had absolutely no idea. I think we need to get a, a meet and greet. A Backstreet Boys and a Backstreet Boys combination? I think so. Can you... Can my people get in touch with their people and see what can, what can happen? So what I'm thinking is you look into the camera right now and you sell the Backstreet Boys on why they should get with the Backstreet Boys when they are here at Wrigley Field. Well, hey guys, you know, if you saw our, our rendition of the take me out to the ball game at the seventh inning stretch. <laughs> then, you know, you would take some lessons from us. I think we'd be good vocal coaches. You've been in New York and now you're in Chicago and I have to ask, which pizza do you prefer? <laughs> The truth is, uh, I do like Chicago-style pizza. I, I, I'm, I'm a fan, uh, but I, I lived in West Village uh, in Manhattan, and I haven't found a better place in Chicago than John's Pizzeria. What do you think it means to the city of Chicago to not only be playing against one of the best football clubs in the world, mm -hmm. but to have the All-Star Game here? Yeah, it's a, it's a tremendous honor, I think, not only for us as players on the field, but I think for the whole city of Chicago. Um, I think soccer in Chicago, especially with the fire the past couple of years, uh, it hasn't been going too well. Um, and I think, you know, soccer fans haven't had much to cheer for in the past couple of years. So uh, to bring a, a team like Real Madrid here to play against the MLS All-Stars, especially in a year where the Chicago Fire are having a really good season, uh, I think it's a just reward for kind of their pain and suffering the past couple of seasons. So we hope to make it a good game, a good spectacle, and, and we want the fans to enjoy it. Go ahead. 